The following is a special presentation from ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Hi, everybody. I'm Chris Berman, and welcome to ESPN's NFL Football. Trust me, a lot of work has gone into and a lot of pleasure has gone into combining the best that ESPN and the NFL have to offer. So, without further delay, let's go straight to the game. <laughs> Welcome to NFL Countdown. From the Bristol Studios, I'm Chris Berman. This Sunday afternoon, it's the Raiders looking for a win. I expect their great route running wideouts to play a big part in this one. Standing in their way, we've got the Stillers also looking for a win. Key for them, their great linebacking core. My prediction, Oakland. Because of this man, the MVP of the National Football League a season ago, veteran signal caller Rich Luce Gannon. What a season for Rich last year in his 15th NFL season. Over 4,600 yards passing. Only four guys in the league history have thrown for more. Expect to see him spreading it around in this one. Raiders, Steelers, up next. Thank you, Chris, and welcome everyone to Steel Town. Heinz Field here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Dan Stevens here to call the action alongside my partner, Peter O'Keefe. 
And Peter, it seems to me like we're looking at a piss one. I couldn't agree more, Dan. And anytime you set foot in the city of Pittsburgh, you can't help but think of all the great Steeler teams that have called this city home. I mean, this town understands winning. And this Steeler bunch understands it as well, so they're always tough to beat here. And Peter, let's talk quickly about one player to watch. Anyone leap out at you? Well, I like Chris's pick, but I've got my eye on someone else, too. Tommy Maddox is one of those strong arm quarterbacks that can make the kind of throws that can dismantle a defense. If he has a little time, we could see some big plays from him. It looks like we're ready to start. Let's go down to the field for the coin toss. Tails it is. And we'll receive. Jeff Reed kicking off for the Steelers. It's time for Steelers. There's the signal, and we're ready. Reed kicks it, and we are underway. Jenkins feels the opening kickoff at the 19. Back down at the 34. Ronnie Jenkins made a mediocre kick a little more mediocre with a decent run back there. First and ten. The Raiders offense takes the field and they will start at their 34 yard line. This end forces the incompletion. With the deflection. Jason Gilden managed to disrupt things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. Potential for some nice second yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Garner picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Gain of one on the play. Football. Charlie Garner used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Well, not much of a game there, and they will third down Kendrell third and bell. long to too then big play coming up Kendrell Bell couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet well the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive coordinator oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation and it will bring up fourth down breaks free tackled at the 21 Alexander didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. Makes a tough catch and is at the 30. Finally dropped at the 33. That will bring up first down. Let's break down the quarterback here. 12 year man out of UCLA. An arm that can make the plays when he needs to. He's a flashy guy running the show here, and he can come up big. Keep an eye on him. First down, two wideouts on the field. Maddox throws this one over the middle, and, and it's good for a gain of eight. Mark Bruner got wide open and made the easy grab. Great job to take advantage of the D's confusion. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what second to try next. Two. Ball at the Steelers, 42 yard line. Maddox made the throw that was off target there. Incomplete. Tommy Maddox got the pass off despite the pressure, but it's incomplete. Tough to be accurate in those kinds of situations. That would have gotten the first, third but it's three. incomplete, and it will Ball be third down. Yard line. Maddox throws this on a rope, and it's incomplete. Pass interference, number 53, defense. The ball is placed at the spot of the foul, automatic first down. Bill Romanowski draws the defensive pass interference call. Let's see what prompted it. 
Yep, he's over the line there. Back off, bud. They hand the third down conversion over with an unforgivable penalty. Uh, th those are silly mistakes that can come back to haunt you. Definitely. You just can't First do that. Ten, ten. First down with the All tight the end right. 49 yard line. Bennett is at the 40. 25, 20, 10, 5, and he's in for the touchdown. Touchdown Steelers. Look at this run, Dan. Everything worked out to perfection. Look at the fluidity of the running style. There's no motion there. What a play. Great effort.